uh, this year. It's the second generation. I've never really seen a uh, cup holder door that was solid, one piece, that it could just extend. Some of the best car videos you'll ever see. It is uh, early evening. It's about 6.30. Very, very, very impressive here. Rosenthal Automotive. I'm airplaying it from the Mac straight over to the, uh, now you have the, the Bravia here. Doing a really nice job. This is on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Rosenthal Automotive. This is a uh, new Range Rover. The old one? Yeah. You gotta get a little bit closer. It's never gonna get this. You're gonna have to. Alright, guys. So I was uh, downtown putting some gas in the car. And who pulls up behind me but Mr. Gardner? So now he's filming. We found this Toyota Corolla. And it says where the model would usually be. It says orangutan. Yeah, it's. What the hell um, is that? It's right after, you know, the middle bar that says Corolla? It's to the right and up. So where the model would be. Um, it says orangutan. I think it's a hippie. What about you, bud? It's probably a hippie or and something we can't say on camera. All right, we're going to that note. We'll hippie. Say. Well, we got small condoms in the parking lot, boys. Friggin' hell. All right, guys, we're home now in the garage, and we're backed in. Never really shown you the pure white angel eyes, excuse me, at night before. I know you've seen a few pictures. Let's see if the flip actually does anything here. Yeah, they look blue on the flip, but trust me, they're not. They're like perfect white. Looks really nice if we get up on them here. They totally look blue, but they aren't. Maybe if I flick the xenons on, we'll be able to tell. Um, the, the install is actually really simple. It's just a bulb that goes in from the back of the light. Uh, we need position two for that. And there goes the level. Matches the xenon color really well, since they're both about a 6,000K Kelvin white value. Yeah, I like it. Makes the car look a lot more modern and they're not too bright, they're not too dim, they're not too yellow, and they're not too blue. It's a great product. And then you know I uh, cleared out the front bulbs, the turn signal bulbs, so they're clear instead of orange. I'm still waiting on my replacements to come from the back, but as you can see, they still light up amber, so everything is still legal from the state side of things. Anyhow, yeah, I was just putting a little bit of gas in the car downtown, and uh, somebody pulled up behind me, got out of the car, hey, Mr. Schultz! And I look back, and it's Alex and his friends, so we ended up going over to Starbucks, got uh, some hot chocolate, and that was cool. So I'm home now. It's 10 to 19, 10 19. I got an E39 source video up, welcoming Evo to the channel. Friggin' rights, 2002 M5, the video is uploaded, go check it out. Colt said in yesterday's vlog that uh, he was rubbing off on me, and I fear he's right. It's 3.05 in the morning. <laughs> My hands are covered in grease, and I've been out here working on the car. As you can see, it's back in like it was before. I just did a full detail with the Zeno. The paint is beautifully clean. Look at that reflection. The exhaust is clean. It's gorgeous. The wheels are the only thing that I haven't done. Wheels and tires have not been done yet. And uh, I will do those tomorrow because it's 3 o'clock and I'm not tired at all. But if I don't go to bed in the next 2 or 3 hours, then I'm going to be up all friggin' night and won't get up tomorrow until like dinner time. That can't happen. So. Looks really nice. I also have a floor jack, a towel, and a 25 pound weight out here for whatever reason. And unlike some, it can go above my head. Let me know if you know what reference that's to. It was really only dirty from the last probably two weeks of being driven in the rain a little bit and the dust and wet roads, but now, now it's like perfect again. 3.40, I'm just about ready to go up and go to bed, but check this out. We got a lot of work on E39 source today, both e39source.com and the YouTube channel. Um, new user, Evo here. I-W-O, I know, strange name. Evo. Um, I believe he's from Poland. Yeah, pretty cool. He's in um, Arizona now. But he's got this 2002 M5. It's carbon black. 56,000 miles. It's beautiful. Um, his article here is from his, his forum, his, his entity on his forum uh, from M5 board. But he's got a really nice article, a couple pictures of the car. So come check this out on e39source.com. 
We also got Tyler's video up on the 93325 and Bobby's on the 03525 IA. And of course my video is still here, now finished with some nice pictures and the site's coming along really well, so please go check that out. We also added the 4 Series. We're going to have to add the 6 Series, uh, the M6 uh, Grand Coupe, which I will talk more about tomorrow. So it's all here under the family or just on the home page. You'll see the links for that uh, as well. Uh, a couple of videos up. We got Evo's video up on the 2002 M5. We got Colt's video up replacing the gauge rings on his 540i6. Um, lots of stuff going on. It's exciting. I'm going to be making a couple of videos with my car soon now that it's really nice and clean looking. Um, now there's a chance of rain Saturday. Typically, I clean the car up. Chance of rain Saturday. It'll rain Sunday. I'll be inside. Uh, and it's 34 outside, so that kind of sucks. But that's what's going on with that. I'm going to go to bed. Tomorrow is Friday. I'm going to try to get up before noon, and uh, I want to get that outside Christmas stuff done. We've got to do a little bit of shopping, stuff like that. So talk to you guys on Friday on 734, I think. All right. Hope you guys had a great day. Good night.